God War versus Destroy Loman. Ain't this Nar this nigga Narwhal like 50 years old, 60 years old now? <laughs> this man is done. He's cooked. I've low-key never watched a Narwhal video. What's that? Do 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 Coachella. What is this, bro? Who are you? Destroy Lonely. Destroy Lonely? Welcome to Coachella. I said about people messing with you. Who do you have beside you right now? Our brother, Ken Carson. Hello, Ken. What's up, Nard? Guess we're going to talk to you a bit later. Yep. And right now, we have Destroy. They both got an interview. And right off the bat, I have a gift for you right here. A My Bloody Valentine. El it's cool, Pac. Sorry, Pac. It's the first one I ever listened to. What can you say about can't My hear, right? Bloody Valentine? Damn, bro. I really like their music. Uh, somebody that mean a lot to me, uh, they showed me their music like a couple years ago. So. <laughs> and I got veneers. That's a gift for you. A My Bloody Valentine LP. Yeah, you. that's a gift for you. Let me put my headphones on. I don't want to put my headphones on, though, bro. Oh, bro, thank you. That's that's fine. I fuck with that for sure. Yeah. Destroy Lonely. Did it all begin at a cookout at Mike's house where you met Jesus? <laughs> Who the hell is Mike? No, do you know Mike? He got Mike. veneers. Who the hell is Mike? Oh, white boy Mike. Yeah, fake for real. Yeah, that, that's like I haven't. But that ain't how my shit started though. That's how I met my twin from back then. But nah, that ain't how it went. But I, that's that's the moment though for sure. What was that moment like? Shit, that was just. He's always been good though. I met my yeah, it didn't look bad. I don't, but now they obviously look too perfect. That's when I met him, and that's when like veneers tough though. I wish I would give veneers. I would never do that though. That shit, so yeah, that was that was just I kicking off the show. Jesus, a punk rapper into punk. He he going. That my brother. He going crazy for sure. Thank you, Mr. Burns. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> No. Nah. Either I never give veneers just because I don't want to do no fabricated stuff. Hey, nah, yo, shout out Mr. Oh, knees is that guy. From high school, yo, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> yeah, bro, shout out Mr. Burns, bro. I used to skip class and go to his class every fucking day. <laughs> it made music, bro. That's hard. That's, That's pretty cool. Piano. Yeah, bro, but it wasn't even about the piano class. I wasn't in there doing the class. He just knew I would like to make music, so he'll let me skip. And like, it was a studio in school, so he fuck is Ken Carson and doing? His class and go record music in the studio. That's why I fuck with him, cause he was just he let me rap all day. You were also into science fairs, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'm. He like, I almost just banned you, bro. Don't say some shit like that. What's wrong with you, bro? Oh, my God. I hate you guys. Yeah, bro. bro I do a lot of different yeah. things, bro. <laughs> yes. I want, hey, real shit, though. I want every science fair I ever did first place. No bet. AU. Yeah, Slim AU. That's my favorite right name. That's very science. Ish. <laughs> yeah, Twin geeking off that lean. What you think he's sipping? Shit, man, like, gold. That shit was corny and fuck, bro. What are you doing right now? <laughs> Don't ban me, man. He knows for a long. I like that name. Slim A U. That was my name. That's crazy. Quote. Little Does Ken Carson have veneers too? He gonna stay. That's one of my bars, but I got cold VVS. Yep, cold Valentine. What the fuck? That's the first one. Little my... Tundra. Yep, Tundra Boy Lonely. First name. Mm -hmm. A U. A U. Tundra Boy Lonely. Then destroy Lonely. What was Lonely's flexed up slow jams all about? Bro, this old ass tape. Yo, you asking me weird questions like that was shit wasn't about nothing. That was probably the first tape I ever dropped. Just trying to put music out on SoundCloud. I recorded that shit in school. The name is really funny as hell. Flex up, slow J. I was told. Man, I heard that one fire. Cause it don't exist, bro. This nigga crazy. This is like this from when I was like 14, bro. Like, but yeah, that shit ain't nothing. Bro. How does he find his stuff? What was it like pillow fighting at the mall? Bro, that sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that happened, but that sounds crazy. Don't put it like that. Nigga, I was walking through, it was these YouTube niggas, they caught me in my pocket, they said they wanted to I'm like, what? 
but don't make it sound like that though, Twin. Like, <laughs> I have another gift for you right here. Destroy go, Lonely, a ludicrous 12 inch laugh? What featuring. Let me go on this. Infamous 2 0. Infamous 20. Smart for you. And Lil Fate. Who? Like your dad. Who's this though? I don't know. Well, what I was curious is Infamous 20 versus He's a professional I journalist what happened there he was Freak like infamous for a little while yeah so this is my pops uh he just he just dropped the infamous to our small teeth long as hell this, this rap shit bro you gotta have a name it's fine but this hard though i never owned i never owned and it's got instrumental on it as well for you to experiment on nah this is sick shout out this your dad also came from battle rap didn't he like where did he my pops, my pops on that heavy he really on that rapping shit but this is different I like this mm. spot. I never, undercover. I never owned one of their albums. I ain't gonna lie, except for my well, that... pops, uh, his first album. I had got that CD a couple months ago just because I seen it in the store. But this Bones is Bones nice Love stuff. for Science. And that's a gift for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Real like me. Did I love science. Did I had to call you Spank? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Seriously, wait. Look. Yeah, so growing up, but how do you know that? Well, you are destroyed lowly. We have to know. All right, so growing up, my family used to call me Spank. Spanky, because I used to, I was bad as hell. I used to always get whoopings and shit. So that's what my pop <laughs> used to call me. He used to call me Spanky. I think he got the name because he was getting spanked. Cool, like, taking you to Little Wayne? That's amazing. Yeah, well, mom, my mom, I love my mom for what she did. Look like, at my cognac. Like, uh, like, when I started doing shows and shit, she was driving me around to all my shows. My first concert, like literally first and last concert I ever went to. After this, I went and was doing my own shit. She took me to go see Drake versus Lil Wayne. And that shit changed my whole. I was like, oh yeah, I'm finna do what these niggas doing. So it was like, hey, yeah, thing. shout out to mom for that. I'm disgusting. Was I was wondering what exactly is going on right, in really this picture it. right here. Kind of like I a mealist. Is that everyone who gives me. veneers? Uh, or just some new actually, shit? I had to be like probably like 10. Max Use that one time? What do you mean that one time? Oh, Max Payne 3. I wanted this shit so bad. My pops went to me go get that shit. He took a picture of me. He put this shit on his Twitter. He's been there for probably like 12 years. People started finding this shit. But yeah, this is what I used to look like when I was a young nigga. Excuse me? How hard was it to play that game? Like a shooting game? Excuse me, X? She wasn't nothing. Man, like, it was easy for me. I, yeah, I play games. But. Like, you were into reprogramming Xboxes and stuff like that. I used to take the controllers. Yo, why do you know this? <laughs> Who's telling you this shit? Bro, I used to take the controllers, bro. I used to take the Xbox controllers and mod them myself, bro. I used to take them. Damn, get, bro, like, I ain't do my hand for The Science mind. Geek. I ain't do what you were saying. Like, I ain't wasn't doing nothing with the Xboxes, but I, I used to do the shit. I used to take the trolls and soup them up myself. That like can, yeah. I don't know. He thinks he's cool or something. Well, you are destroyed lonely. We have to know. I guess. <laughs> speaking of video games, etc., I have a gift for you. The do you think Narwar is going to know that I used to lick Barbie doll tits and vagina when he interviews me? Probably, right? Fortnite soundtrack for you to sample, possibly. Look way skinnier on stage. He still looks skinny in general. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Boy, like, got a true enough. <laughs> yeah, he got the tism, bro. He been doing that shit all interview. Like. All right, look, so since you put me on blast, because I... Now he will. Uh, guess you know. The vinyl is cool. Like, Yellow. I like Fortnite. It's one of my favorite games. None of my fans can't see me in none of this shit. This shit, Trim, I probably would never give this a play ever, but thank you. But For possible sample, though, and a poster as well. I think I'm going to keep it. A wall hanger, a good wall hanger. Yeah, look, I'm going to keep it in the pack, and I'm going to use it as, like you said, art. I like how it look, but I play Fortnite a lot. Bro. Time for you to play nobody, Fortnite. Why, bro? This for me. I ain't gonna lie. Quote, <laughs> what Yo, Eli, you need help, dude. You are. Where that's from? Periscope. What was I doing on there? Eight people were watching. What's going on there? I was I was geeking out as a kid playing video games online, being stupid, and I wish that video was never on the internet. And his video is just I crazy. Think it's really cool, like using Periscope. Not a lot of people now. It's really easy. Oh, man, you put shit on the net. This shit don't ever go nowhere. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> Fuck that. You previewed Bane for like sixty-four people. No, four people. It was only four people. But what was the reaction, though? All four people said it was hard, so I like, shit, I'm finna drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to four motherfuckers, man. <laughs> what were shows on the He East only had four like people before Bane? When I was younger. That one song blew him up that much? That shit, I never performed in the East, on the East Side. That one song blew him up that much? City, and that shit was different. It was like, I'll be trying to tell y'all, bro. It take one. 
Yeah, it it literally like take one thing to change everything, bro. They got four people. I was trying to do shit. Drop Bane and probably his whole life was different. Literally, his whole life was different after that. Literally, TikTok. Maybe 50, maybe 100. I what year was like, Bane? That was like, what, what was it, y'all? Like, early TikTok, 2019? It was like, early, early TikTok. I was able to actually be on real stages and shit. And I thought to give you a I, I, like he knew that? to welcome you yeah, what to is the he land of God. But how does he know that for real? Batman wrecker. This nigga hates Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you like Batman. This nigga think like he's so cool. But I thought... It's also good for a wall hanger, isn't it? Like to hang on the wall for artwork. You're giving me a lot of first ever loan song. To like how I mean, that's crazy like, though. This, this is that was only a couple years ago. Is from? That is from 1966. Damn, originally like the original original only got like from 30 pe- max 30 people. Inspired. Not much of an upgrade. That's a big upgrade. I ain't gonna lie. From I seven to thirty, it's crazy upgrade. In Vancouver, Canada. Nice. I appreciate that. Only the best for destroy. My fried G. Only at Coachella. I'm alive. Live is alive. Scary. God, my Instagram and Vane does Loki harder to have more viewers on there. Loki. Motherfucking time, nigga. What the fuck? See now you striking. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's there. Um, destroy. Only at Coachella. Yeah. Scary. Godmother. Favorite Halloween movie of all. <laughs> doing emo. Nigga. What the fuck? He literally, I haven't heard him say like more than yeah. his name this whole interview. <laughs> That's a good movie right there. Movie, right? Oh, there you go. Cartoon Network. Don't he like scary movie? Then King Carter say that in the more interview. about the scary Godmother. Yeah, they're my favorite. I like one and two. They don't even come on no more. You probably ask somebody about it. Probably don't even know about that shit. But I used to love that shit so much, bro. I had my grandma. She used to be able to do this shit. Like you could record shit on the TV and put it on a DVD. I remember like, that shit. Make a DVD for me. The scary Godmother shit. I used to watch shit all the time. It's my favorite Halloween movie all the time. Possible sample down the line. Damn, that nigga really had four people listen to a song, then boom, it blew up. Literally changed his whole life. That's crazy. I have another gift for you, right here for you to sample. You trying to tell him, bro? Dynamite. Well, he keep talking about these samples, bro. Check out, they're all breaks that you can actually sample for your music. This is my favorite movie on earth. Yo, what the fuck? Nah, see, I can fuck with this. I'd probably play this just because I didn't see this movie a million times and I know I like the look. I'd hear me Ken. Probably just through opium. <laughs> What's his favorite part of Napoleon Dynamite? It's uh, he's sitting in the classroom, I think, or he at the lunch table. I haven't seen him in a minute. He pulled the tots out of his pocket. They're like, Napoleon. They explain all the tots. Then we shall listen. He's like, gosh. I fuck with Napoleon Dynamite, bro. I've probably seen this movie a million times. My uh, Somebody else who I care about a lot, they got me a birthday gift. It was like, it was like a special edition of the DVD. It was like furry. And it was like, like Tiger Print or whatever, but I still got that shit. Who got signed first? Ken, right? Ken, yeah, the Ken definitely got signed. Cause I remember. You can sample that one as well. That's a gift for you. For sure. <laughs> I, I was wondering though, is it really like 150 songs per month you write? Quite a few songs you write per month. That's my boy. I just got out here. Moon, hard eyes, hard eyes, hard eyes, hard eyes. What about? What's good, Mabel? About 200 now. Wow. What? What they say? Eight. Quite a few songs you write per month. That's my boy. I just got out here in LA a month ago. Ask him how many songs I did. Uh, probably about two hundred now. Damn, two hundred songs a month. Wow, that's a lot of lyrics. I gotta uh, get on that. What do you do when you record? Yeah, so at many? least fifty like, songs a month. What's your mindset? Like, I wanna do five tonight. Or how does it work out? <laughs> I don't count and I don't care. I just what's I good, real? She does not listen, listen to Bobby like, Wardell, like, Sandman, the third. I got, I got hey, we're the third together. Like we're both the third. That's nice. we're gonna leave here. That's what we doing 24-7. You dropped your phone in Ranch? Did you look it off? Doom. Crazy. That's I actually disgusting. Doom. I hope you didn't do that. I was in, I was somewhere Studies somewhere show that phones carry so much germs. Put y'all down. On blast because it's already on blast. thought that was Cardi. Hell no. You think Cardi going to be anywhere near, near these niggas? Shit, show. I thought we left Doom for sure. Here is a gift for you from Vancouver, Canada to look bring here. back some smoke. An original Cheech and Chong record with But they met before Opium, did they? <laughs> this overly trim. This is hard. This fire. I'm hanging. <laughs> Got a bucket of ranch lying around, I guess. No, that's for you to use afterwards. Yo, you can roll up in this? Yeah. Damn. This is it's a crazy my plate, bro. 19... <laughs> bro, why are you so aggressive, bro? 72. Damn. <laughs> five, five, five. Five. That's the safe word. Hey, look, though. Tommy Chong, can't speak pro- no, he's off that lean, man. Like, uh, All that white heart, man. I make good music, and you do 
good things with your YouTube. Oh, but just uh, join chat. Already on 10. I really appreciate that. So this is a gift for you to indulge in afterwards. I, you know, you about to smoke the fuck out of this, by the way. I ain't going to lie. That's it. That's it. Thanks, oh. folks. Big, that shit say big bamboo. Hey, hey, sight up with that. What the fuck? That's fine. That's fine. And, and also, I was curious <laughs> what is going on in this photo right here. What you call me? My, Oaks. All right, so look, I'm going to keep it all the way 100. Then my brother Hedge. Oaks. I still be with this nigga every day to this day. This nigga got a new name, LD. This this nigga named Brandon. This is my brother. Why y'all love got Ken right Lazy? He don't even want to speak. Spot, bro. Like Ken said, who the, fuck, who the fuck we thought we was, bro? But now nah, I fuck with these niggas, though. When they see this, they go. I can't tell if he has doubles or not. They literally like they're on no, the same piercing. This is incredible. What's going on here? This is incredible. Oh, that's hard. My brother, Danny. Yeah, he out there. Uh, I used to sleep on his couch every time I used to come to L.A. And he was making clothes and shit. Hello. So he gave me an opportunity to model. Oxbillia plus 10. Cheat code. Cheat code in life. This is my first time ever. I got a skinny ass yeah, one right there, though. This little small shit that I did for my bro, I done did a lot of big shit. This was just like, I guess, like a little light manifestation. But shout out to him. He's still here to this day. He out there. I love that nigga. I think it's great. Rick's looks like Destroy Only. No. Rick wants to look like Destroy Only. <laughs> I like Vivian. Like, now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, but she did a lot for fashion and swag. And Ken talks about Stella. He looks a little different. Inventor. Shit, money and uh, good energy changes your yep, your uh Stella physique. McCarty. Like I love that. Like Stella. Even Ken Carson looked a little bit better. Really big on what we do. It's right just now. money and like, good Stella, energy. Like, having fun and yeah, yeah. Recreating your 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 you. A lot of things, but we we really do. My energy, do you mean aura? When did you first hear of Ken? Energy, nigga. I didn't. You don't know what energy means? Here. See, everything, everybody that's around me, I met in real life. It wasn't a hearing of Ken Carson. Me and Ken, we from the same place. We from Atlanta. But me and Lone Loki got the same brother, hair. No, you got Edgar dress. LA, and we was What's good, Mike? At, uh, I forgot where we was at. It was some other niggas performing. Me and Ken ain't had no move, no music at the time, but it was some some other niggas performing. And we was out, we was outside. We was the only niggas from Atlanta. I said what's up to him. He said what's up to me. And then I got he's from Atlanta. Brother, and then once I got back home, him already nigga the the opium nigga crazy now. I don't know how the fuck. I'm my room one giant wick. Like, well, yeah, you need to get up. some sleep back. You know how they got my number. Yeah, his bags are crazy. Up on him, I was with him ever since. Every day, this probably like four years ago. Going on five. And Loki like his eyes swollen. Everybody I meet, I'm in real life. I met Ken in real life. You know what they say about Atlanta people? Life. Nah, I really don't. And what about Lone? When did you first encounter Lone? Even not music. It's crazy because my friend. Oh, he's talking. His music before me, but I knew him before them. Wasn't me and Ken was friends. It wasn't yeah. about no music, and he was he was hanging out with my best friend. Yeah, I, I was hanging with Cam. Like I was hanging with Cam Hella, and he was coming with Cam. Type shit. Like, <laughs> bro, before we ever was even making songs together, and then we was just smoking weed, watching other niggas perform. And like ADA to be making beats. <laughs> like we don't even. No way he was skip. He was skipping sleep in a gated community. They have a microphone. That made me laugh. Right here, like, making beats because why? And we did. That's when. We'll send that shit. We'll send that shit to bro. No bet. We was, we was out, we, it was this little apartment in Atlanta. One of his homies house. We always just sit up in there and talk about this shit. No bet. Home grew up in the trenches of Atlanta. Coke plant. Audi can answer better Atlanta. than me. The Coke, Coke, Coca Cola. That sounds crazy, but the Coca Cola factory. The <laughs> they said, bro, I yeah, one brain shit. cell. Coke plant. No, no, no. That is crazy. Nigga uses it to make music. Yeah, for sure. I was just, I was just in there. With, <laughs> friend, no, the friend, fuck he so. did it. Ludacris's restaurant like bear chicken <laughs> at the airport. Well, I say three percent. Uh, my fault, uh, but hell no. Nah. <laughs> I ain't never been there, twin. <laughs> what about Ken? Putting yourself in the trench What's is crazy. It's called beer and chicken. You said it's at the airport. Mm -mm. I'm gonna check it out now. Though. Where terminal that's at? I'm not sure. Luda, you gotta get the world of coke. Yeah, I don't know what that is though. I'm ready to go, aren't you? I'm so, we supposed to have. Stop, real. Before you start, stop, stop, just stop. Just stop, bro. Just stop. Backtrack. Oh, Eat motherfucking beer and chicken. Every time, bro. Every time, bro. Little two chains restaurant. Doesn't two chains have restaurant? I have not been Roddy, you from Atlanta? Restaurant either. I live in my own world, but I fuck with the unks for sure. What about Ti's Museum? No. What the hell? No offense to Tip. I'm just saying. I'm half O Block, half two nine. Oh, Ti Studio. Two nine. Two nine hundred block. What's that? We can't drop the studio, but we be out there in the studio though for sure. Walter's clothing, the legendary. Worry about the Walter's wrong things. I'm not worried about what? shit. What you talking about? Yeah. What's that like? What's the clothing scene like there? Yeah, it's just legendary. Walter's ain't like no clothing store. It's just it's just central Atlanta. It's been pom pom like, wearing ass. Whatever you, excuse me. Whatever you need. I don't know what you're saying, bro. Like tank top, shoes, Tim, forces, like quick, like 
I mean, now it's probably a little bit more souped up. I ain't been in there in a minute, but just like a essential story that's been there for a long time, some historical shit. I think it's great you did the song of the Pink <laughs> Panthers. Shout out. <laughs> hey, Axe, you funny, bro. I heard. I fuck with her. Shout out Pink, man. If you seeing this, I fuck with you. That's twin for sure. Quote, Goonies never say... Right, and lastly, I have Gooner. for you an original Gooner. Goonies pin. Yo, I love the Goonies. From 1985. This is mad. This is mad random. Uh, I used to watch this shit with my grandma. Been knew that. Been like, knew that. The first movies. Like, you know, when you watch movies, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like, first movie, you can, like, remember, like, like watching. Like, Open like, your like, eyes, bro. Like, I was like, oh, damn, this is a cool movie. Big, ugly motherfucker. But, yeah, my grandma showed me this. Shout out, shout out to Goonies. It's fine. Like watching movies sting up late. You hate people that sleep in late past 10 a.m., don't you? Man, we some early birds, man. We might wake up 6 a.m., go to sleep 4 a.m. Still get up early. Hell yeah. On the phone with this nigga clockwork every day, and then we can start in the day. I, I hate all that sleeping shit. Man, I could overload on any, whatever. I'm still up early in the morning. Facts. Get that pay. That's just how I do it. That's how we do it. Thank you, Destroy Lonely, for the shout out on Montreality. Shouted me out. I do remember that. That's crazy. When did you Six, first 4 a.m. to 6 a.m.? Hell yeah. I'm just curious. I ain't gonna lie. Keep me 100. Nigga, this life. We've been watching you forever. We've been trying. What you gonna do about it? He just don't fuck yeah, with you, bro. I used to just be watching interviews and, and performances. All this you rolling loud. All this shit like with twins sitting right there. Shit, bro, probably bro, sipping lean. Bro, making bro, music. Bro, sipping bro, some bro, more bro, lean. Bro, fucking bro, hoes. Bro, bro, sipping bro, more bro, lean. Bro, smoke a couple blunts. Make some more music. And be like. Should they say they doing two hundred songs in a in a month? So just like anybody else, bro. Like, <laughs> thirteen hour lean like, says. Coachella, two thousand twenty four. Little twin, twin leaning for thirteen hours. Only anything else to add to the people out there at all? Man, y'all stay fine. Two hundred songs a month, I crazy. Ride, Why should people care about Destroyed Lonely? Why should people care? Oh, it's a pass. <laughs> Shit, bro, because. Cause I care about I care about people, man. Crazy, they really the can't world. drop. I care about my twins. I care about everything. We bring positivity. We I say it now, music. but I don't want to sign at all. Right but way. I feel like I feel like now we in a place where a lot of people don't give a fuck. Six, seven a day. Give a fuck, and we still that's that mic type of shit. Right, sound right. Be pushed the right way. Feel good, and that's what we own. So that's why you should give a fuck. You already music. signed. I pay my yeah, but not to a label. I signed to a person. It's authentic. It's real. Really a deity. Well, thanks so much. Destroy lonely. Keep on rocking in the free I mean, what? world. Making six, and seven songs do, a day or something do, like that. Do 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 it, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we <laughs> nah, we ain't. We ain't. That nigga froze like a mug. What is it supposed to be? What's this? <laughs> that nigga probably like, this shit stink. <laughs> that nigga petrified. He can't move. Damn, long. Take a shower, bro. Subsection of Interscope? Yeah, it's just a subsection of Interscope. What's BA? <laughs> he has starving ass.